right now on Chronicle in High Definition. A student who struggled until she found her place. She realized she could learn, she had friends, she could do everything. Well, every child wants to find a place to belong at a unique school in Lexington. That is happening for a group of students who sometimes find it hard to fit in. The place is the Cotting School, and for more than a century, it's been a warm and welcoming environment for children with special needs. Ted Reinstein has that story. I absolutely love this school. I love this school. She says Cotting is the greatest school in the history of schools. High praise and par for the course at Cotting School in Lexington, which serves students ages 3 to 22 with complex learning and medical disabilities. For the first time for many of these students, school has been a place to thrive. 12 year old India has never been happier, says mom, Deb Smith. She doesn't feel like she's on the outside. She feels like um, she fits. Everyone fits at Cotting, and everyone gets the support they need to blossom academically, socially, and emotionally, says President Dave Manzo. It's about independence. How do you help a child become more independent? She loves being able to go anywhere. She loves being able to do activities with her friends. Like being in the school play. Other settings may try to include them, but it's never at full inclusion. India was born with the HIV virus, which caused physical, medical, and learning disabilities. Today, she takes a potent AIDS drug cocktail, which might have reduced the damage had it been around when she was born. India was an educational and social challenge in other settings. She believed she was stupid because she couldn't learn. At recess, she'd be alone. That turned around when she came to Cotting. She realized she could learn, she had friends, she could do everything. She wasn't left out. Hi, India. Hi. There are four staff members for every student, and average class size is eight. You use your pinky for your shift. Technology is cutting edge. The number one Red Sox fan The number one here. Red Sox fan at, at uh, Cotting School, Chris. That's right. A sophisticated computer opens up the world to students like Chris by allowing them to communicate. Chris has control over his head and he is able to use a head switch to move down a computer monitor and to pick out the words that he wants to say. Today, Chris is scolding Manzo for being a traitorous Yankees fan. Go Red Sox. <laughs> you ready? How many dimes do you need put? With those nine. Donna LeCam was a first grade special ed teacher in public schools for 35 years. She recently retired and came to Cotting for what she thought would be a short stint. Now, she says she can't imagine leaving. And the class that I have this year is just probably my favorite group of people in the world. They are seven amazing children. I learn more from them every day than I ever teach them. You'll find that these children, in spite of their learning problems, they have a burning desire to learn. Wow. With so many resources, LeCam calls Cotting a kind of special ed Disneyland. But the devotion the school inspires comes less from technology than from its humanity. I often describe it as a place where um, children show each other exquisite kindness. What if I also went running and got quicker? Uh, I then win? I don't think so. Uh, I have friends, you know, that say to me, it must be so difficult seeing children with so many problems every day. How do you not get depressed? In all honesty, they are the happiest, most positive group of people you could ever be around. The school was founded in 1893 as the Industrial School for Crippled and Deformed Children. It's always been a leader in special needs education. Using adaptive equipment, a progressive curriculum, and meaningful work, Cotting created what it called a comprehensive classroom. It even had a women's basketball team as far back as 1938. Women's sports in 1938? You know, this is many, many years before Title IX, before the doors were open for women in sports in this country. Today, there are basketball, cheerleading, softball, and golf teams. School spirit is high, and nobody sits on the sidelines. I love the school because it's very accessible for me, and it's easy to learn for me. 
Nice job. This is Janelle Avola's fourth year here. She can't decide what she likes best. Oh, that's hard to say. So many good things. Some of the water fights we have in the summer school. Like this one. Oh, no! Who knows if Nick is winning or not, but he sure is having a good time. Nice job. The class trip to Disney World, senior prom, graduation, rituals cherished everywhere, and no more so than here at Cotting School. It's a very, very warm place. Success measured right. by smiles yeah, there, absolutely. So